Chapter 3 Life in the Pack 03 Today was the worst day of my life. I mean, I've had bad days before, but today was the worst of the worst. After being splashed by Noah and his goons this morning, Mr. Schmidt gave us a pop quiz in the middle of the class that I was totally unprepared for. I meant, who gives a pop quiz on the last day of school? Saying it'll be added to our grades for next school year. Then in art class, some idiot messed with my paintings and ruined my work. I had to stay over during lunch break to do it all over, so I ended up not eating any lunch. Finally, in science class, Jasmine bumped my table and then lied to the teacher, saying I hit the chemical over in an attempt to burn her when she was passing. Now, being the great actress she was, the teacher believed, or maybe it's because they hate me and do think that lowly of me. So he sent me to the principal's office, where I got an hour-long lecture and some not-so-subtle threats about what they would do to me if I tried to harm anyone else in the pack again. See, our school consists of supernaturals and humans. But, of course, the humans didn't know what we were. Some of our teachers were humans, but the principal was a witch, and what was the one thing they all had in common, you ask? Their unprofound hatred for me. So now here, I was outside the school at four o'clock, when school ended at two, waiting on my brother to come to pick me up. Why was I leaving school this late, you may be wondering? Well, because of all my so-called wrong deeds, I had to stay behind and clean up the schoolyard. Yup, my life sucks. After half an hour of waiting, I saw my brother's jeep driving up to the school gate. Hey sis, sorry I am late. I was on patrol when you called, Nick said as I climbed into the jeep. Nah, it's cool, at least you came when you could have ignored me, by the way. Sorry to have disturbed you while you were on patrol, it's just that my feet are so tired I couldn't handle walking home, I replied. Come on sis you know I'd do anything for you, besides, I would never ignore you, he told me as he drove off in the direction of our house. As I opened the front door entering the house, I was met with a slap in the face. What was it with these people and my face? Dominic had dropped me off and went back to finish patrol. Why the hell are you just reaching home this late school ended ages ago, my mom yelled. I bet she was whoring around. She looks like a walking STD anyway, so it doesn't surprise me this time, my dad spoke up. Normally these insults would make me tear up and cry, but I'm used to it plus, I know no matter what reason I gave them for being late, they wouldn't believe me anyway, so I just dropped my bag at the door and walked to the kitchen to prepare dinner. After I had prepared dinner and set the table, I went to the bathroom to take a shower. I didn't bother to come out of my room because I knew they didn't leave anything for me. I lay on my bed, thinking about my mate, wondering who he was. I really hoped it wasn't anyone from this pack. I was lost in my thoughts until I heard a ping on my phone signaling I got a message in the group chat. It was from Aquarius. Hey, hey cat, you there what happened? Haven't seen you since art? Me, sorry had to finish my work during lunch, then Jasmine pulled one of her stunts in science. So I got sent to the principal, then she made me clean the schoolyard until four. Ah, uh, babe I'm so sorry. We searched for you after school, Jasmine said you went home early something about a chemical spill, making you feel sick, should have known, that bitch lied. Me, it's okay. L, hey guys. Cat I'm so sorry for what happened and don't worry mom and dad will hear about this as well as what Noah did this morning I bet mom will cancel his party. Me hey Lana, please don't do that besides, you know, it'll just give them more reason to torment me. L fine I won't but if he tries anything, tomorrow brother, or not I will curse him to a life of misery. F I could just drain him of his blood. Me Freya, you have been around Aquarius too long I see her violent habits are rubbing off on you. M, hello ladies. F, hey Merlin. Me Merlin, how do you think you did on that quiz Mr. Schmidt gave us today? M, I have decided to remove the memory of that quiz from my brain I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. Me, lol, I swear you're crazy. We talked until late when everyone decided they were going to go to bed seeing as they planned to drag me across the mall tomorrow. 
I was gonna go to bed as well, but the beast in my stomach had other plans as it kept growling. Knowing I wouldn't be able to sleep unless I ate something. I quietly made my way across the hall and into the kitchen. I made two PB&J sandwiches, drank some apple juice, and then ran back into the garage before anyone heard me. I brushed my teeth and then got into bed. As I pulled the cover up to my waist, I sent out a prayer to the moon goddess to please let tomorrow be a good day, a good 16th birthday.